Hey, it's Schwepsy here, and this is the first commentary that I'm doing for my EPs. <laughs> I'm going to try to do one of these for each EP or album that I do. Uh, this one here is Mellow, my EP from 2022. Hard to believe it's, as of now, it has almost been two years of this EP being out. Now, this EP was a lot of fun to do, and it was actually my first... Well, I mean, you can tell just going on my channel. It is the first one that I have released, actually. Now, I had made songs before, but this is the first one that I had actually recorded completely and uploaded to kind of share with everybody else. So this was a very big <laughs> learning experience. Just by listening to it, there's so much stuff I could have done a lot better. <laughs> now with this song specifically, I wanted to go for kind of a Lemon Demon vibe, because at this time I was really, really into Lemon Demon. I still am. <laughs> and I thought, you know, not every song has to be serious. You can have fun with music. That's what it's meant to be, self-expression, you know, just kind of having fun with it. So I wanted to do something like that. Now. This song has a lot of references to different cartoons that I had grown up with. Um, even cartoons I watched when, as, when I was older. Um, it's kind of referencing a lot of different things and you probably know some of the references. I purposely wanted to do that. Um, this part here, campfires underwater. <laughs> and um, you can have a whale for a daughter. Those both are from Spongebob, which was my favorite cartoon growing up. It's still my favorite now, but not the new episodes, no offense, but new episodes ever since Steven Hillenburg passed went downhill, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> now, also growing up, I really kind of wished that I could like kind of live in a cartoon sort of world, not really visually, but like you know, where life would be more simple, and you didn't have stress, you know, and all these responsibilities, things like that. So, this song kind of hit home for me, just kind of wanting to have that. Um, and I just thought it was a lot of fun to reference different things, too. That was just fun. <laughs> And it was- that one was called Let's Be Cartoons. I completely forgot to say that. <laughs> this one now is- what is this one called? I forget the name of it. <laughs> this one is Broken Crown. Now, this one was a lot of fun. And the very first verse is actually the first part that I wrote. Just randomly, I put it in my notes app. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> and then everything else kind of came afterwards. This one is probably one of my favorites out of this EP. It was a lot of fun to write. Now, I will say too, when I was writing this EP, I did not have the recording equipment that I have now, which is not a, which is not the best, but you know, I mean, it's better than what I had then. <laughs> So, I purposely made this one sound a bit more grunge microphone, because my microphone at that time did not sound very good. <laughs> and with this song, now you'll notice with the whole EP besides Let's Be Cartoons and Loop, I guess, they all kind of have a dark theme to it, a dark twist to it, which I always love when people take something, especially if it's like from childhood, you know, and you have that nostalgia. You take that um, happy thing and you make put a dark twist to it. I don't know, I've always absolutely loved that, <laughs> so I was like, I want to do that. Because I love to do that myself, um, making short stories, like, just like, have a horror twist on them. I forgot that I added that echo to that 
to the haws there. That's pretty good. A little bit too much reverb. I should have turned that down just a little bit. But, you know, it's fun. This was a whole learning experience. And regardless, I had fun recording this EP. I had fun making it. It was fun. This song is called Loop, a song like all the songs in games. When I first wrote this song, it was meant to... I don't know what the original thought for it was, but I just wrote the music part to it. And I'm like, okay, this is good, this sounds nice. And then I listened to it again, and I was like, oh. This sounds like something from um, Undertale or Deltarune. <laughs> And then I thought about a lot of different um, games uh, that have a big impact, like Undertale, Deltarune, you know, and they all kind of have this underlying message of um, togetherness, kind of, and friendship, you know, things like that, and even like old cartoons, whatever. That's what this song is meant to be about. And that's why it says a song like all the songs in games, <laughs> you know? And so I kind of... I kind of wrote it... Um, in the, as uh, the aspect... That's not the word I'm looking for. In the perspective of, okay, if this was going to be in one of those games, how would it sound? What? How would it be written? And I really actually had the idea of Deltarune in my mind as I was writing this song. <laughs> because I think, yeah, I wrote this song sometime after Deltarune had come out, the second chapter of it. And after I had, you know, watched the whole game, because I, at that time, I couldn't afford to buy any games, and my computer can't run very many games at all. <laughs> it can barely run Minecraft. Um, <laughs> so, I had Deltarune, like, kind of stuck in my head, and so after I had wrote the music, I was like, oh, this sounds like Deltarune style or whatever, like that one song in the credits. <laughs> So I just kind of went with it. It's like, you know, okay, I'm not going to rewrite it. I'm just going to keep it, I guess. <laughs> and writing this kind of song was actually really hard for me because I don't like to write this style of music. I don't like to write songs that are super happy, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I just don't like to write happy kind of songs like that. That's just not my style, so. That song was tough to do. It took a while to write the lyrics for it. It took a long it took a while. But I think it turned out pretty decent. And this song is called Emerald City, which actually, this one might actually be my favorite. Not gonna lie. A 
Oh, that could have been better. Sorry. <laughs> this song is just so fun to me. Like, this is one of the songs that I would sing to myself randomly. Now, for this song, I always have had this idea like, okay, well, what if The Wizard of Oz had a dark twist to it? And I can't remember if I had seen something like that before or if it's something that I thought of myself one day, like years ago before I even started to make music like this. I mean, I've been making music for years since I was uh, in seventh grade. So years and years and years <laughs> I've been making music. But I kind of thought of this one time and I think I was going to make it into a story. But I was like, mm, copyright reasons. <laughs> I kind of can't do that. And it's a lot of effort, really, too. So I was like, I could just make a song about it. And so this song was born. Years after having the idea. <laughs> and also, the movie Wizard of Oz has always just kind of like been, been a big thing in my family. Um, it is my grandparents' favorite movie. My parents love that movie. Um, I really liked the movie, too. I've watched it multiple times. It was really, it's really good. Um, in fact, my grandparents had a picture of Dorothy signed by the person who played Dorothy. I can't remember her name now for some reason. <laughs> it's like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember her name, but you know, um, and we still have that picture now. My grandparents gave it to my mom. I don't know where the picture is right now, but I know we still have it. Because I remember seeing it like a year or two ago. Like we were going through some stuff and we still have it. So this song is kind of... No, I've not shown them this song at all. <laughs> they don't know about any of my music, actually. They don't even know I post it. <laughs> they have no idea. Um, they know I make music, but they don't know that I share it to anybody. Or share it anywhere. And we're going to keep it that way for now, because they wouldn't like that I post it out here for you guys. But this song was really, really fun to write to. Now this part here is obviously talking about the Cowardly Lion, where I said, I'm not lying. It's supposed to be like, I'm not lying. And also, I'm not lying. I said it that way to sound like the lion. You know, the animal. Saying that I'm a bit cowardly. Yeah, the cowardly lion. <laughs> now, the part where it says can't dance, can't walk, can barely talk. I'm sure you guys know those parts are for. Can't dance, that was for the straw man. Can't walk, um, can barely talk. Well, can't walk is for the tin man. And can barely talk as for the cowardly lion because you know he's always stuttering because he's like scared all the time. <laughs> now the chorus here actually is the first thing that I thought of before writing the whole song, and I wrote it down because it randomly popped into my head one day when I was in the shower. <laughs> and then the, when I, as soon as I thought about it, I kept repeating that part in my head constantly, constantly, constantly until I got out of the shower, and then immediately I wrote it down, because I'm like, I gotta remember this. <laughs> and then eventually I worked on the rest of the song. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is one of my favorites out of all of this. And I also want to say, too, that when you look at the EP, the lyric videos for it, you'll notice how it has a VHS style, and it says 1970 down in the bottom. Um, yeah, at, at this time, I was so into um, the 70s and stuff, and I, I mean, I still am. I love the old decades. I love old decades. <laughs> um, this whole EP was written the summer of 2021, and, or at least I started to write it the early summer of 2021. And it was really to kind of, uh, I was really getting, 
I don't know, something about that summer made me like super nostalgic for my childhood years. So I kind of wanted to do something to go back to it. And I thought Mellow was a perfect EP name because that's the kind of feeling I get when I think about um, nostalgic childhood memories. Now, I rambled into like half most of this song. This is Toy Maker here, which, um, and now that I think of it, it gives me Poppy Playtime vibes. But I wrote this song before Poppy Playtime was even a thing. <laughs> so, I actually wrote this song before I started writing the rest of the EP, and I didn't have a plan for an EP. I wrote the song so long ago. But it was a lot of fun, really. And I was kind of thinking of, you know, but it pretty much this song is meant to be like begging for help to someone who they seem like a trustworthy person. They seem like someone you could trust and, you know, like they seem like they couldn't hurt a fly. They seem like such a good person who like to do good things. And so you go to them for help only to find out that they have an underlying intention. And they're not actually going to help you in the way that you need. So, a toy maker, people think, oh, they make toys for kids. They can't be a bad person. Well, in that song, <laughs> they kind of um, stole the soul of that person. More or less, there's way more to it than that, but that's that's basically it, you know. Um, now this one is, oh, what's it called? <laughs> that one was called Toy Maker. I don't know if I said that, but this one is Pop Up Book. This one was a lot of fun. I remember showing it to my sibling when I first made this first half of it, and my sibling was like, "Oh my gosh, I love that!" This was their favorite song on the EP, and it was a lot of fun to work with too. And for this song, I kind of had a bit more of a Melanie Martinez kind of vibe to it. <laughs> it was fun. And now this song is pretty much about, you know, kids going to bed and their parent is telling them a bedtime story before they go to bed. Well, for me, I never got that. I always wanted to have bedtime stories read to me because, you know, I saw, oh, yeah, they do that in cartoons. You know, other kids get that. I never got, I never got... Uh, stories read to me when I was a kid uh, no but so I when writing the song I kind of imagine how what it would be like to have a story read to you as a kid and um, but with a dark twist because that's what the whole theme of this EP <laughs> childhood with a dark twist <laughs> And you know, when I was a kid, pop-up books were like my favorite. I didn't get to see many. I would never got to own any, but they were really fun when I did get to see them rarely as a kid. <laughs> um, and I knew someone actually back when I was in school, way before this EP was ever even thought about because that was years after. <laughs> I remember someone saying that they were that when they were a kid, pop-up books used to freak them out. <laughs> so then I remembered that, I was like, oh, that's an interesting idea, pop-up books freaking someone out. And I was like, hmm, I could probably make that into this thing where these, where the pop-up book itself doesn't freak the kids out, but there's an underlying thing with the pop-up books, you know? And um, scaring the kids, you know? So kind of, 
excuse me, written in the perspective of a kid who gets kind of freaked out by pop-up books and you know, a little kid's imagination can be insane. So while the parent's saying, you know, a nice sweet story, the kid gets freaked out by the pop-ups, you know, in the book and they start imagining different things and they think that that's what they're hearing instead. You know, does that make any sense? <laughs> so that's pretty much um, the whole thing with that, which that was a lot of fun to do too. And having to rhyme a, different, a lot of different things in that song too, I remember that took a long time. Having to figure out how to word things so that I could actually make a rhyme to it, but for it to also make sense to be easy to sing. <laughs> which happened a lot throughout this um, EP, actually. I think the easiest song to write was Emerald City. Yeah, somehow that just flowed, and that was the easiest one to write. Toymaker was probably the second easiest, and all the other ones took a bit more effort. <laughs> so that is my EP, Mellow. Um, we are reaching the... We are reaching the two year anniversary for Mellow and I didn't think of doing a commentary until now. <laughs> but anyways, that is my EP Mellow and that is my commentary for Mellow. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you can comment those and I will try my best to answer them if I did not answer them in here. I don't know if anybody's gonna be curious about any of this or anyone's gonna find this video interesting at all, but if you do, then that's awesome. Thank you for sticking around and listening to my music. Blah, blah, blah. Listening to my music. <laughs> I really, really do appreciate it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to all of this. I appreciate it and appreciate your support so, so, so much. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next song or commentary or whatever comes next. <laughs>